Hello everyone and welcome to matinee number five and I have here my friend Lynn Hollyfield also from DC so if you're if you're tuning in two weeks in a row um, last week we had Jules Bland Lynn runs the uh, Songwriters Association of Washington open mic at New Deal Cafe and also um, also obviously plays many many shows around the area so would you like to introduce yourself to the to the nice people uh, sure well um, yeah I've been uh, I'm originally from New York and I've been in this area now gosh over 25 years and um, started playing uh, some of the local coffee houses and uh, you know uh, various venues in the area uh, started out with a duo, and then um, we made two recordings. It was Holly Field and Spruill, um, and then uh, had my children. <laughs> decided I was missing playing, and so um, I branched out and started doing some solo work and playing with others. Anybody who asked me, I played. <laughs> <laughs> And sometimes you, sometimes your daughter sings with you now, right? Yeah, yeah, she has been, um, and it's just wonderful when she does. Um, love that, love that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, she'll be playing with me, uh, singing with me on the eleventh. We're doing a, a show with Shenandoah Run. Oh, okay. Um, Bluegrass band, right? Y y yeah, sort they of. do a, like a, like old like uh folk uh pop you know it, it sounds like we'll definitely all be singing along at this show you know <laughs> like i mean it's they're wonderful players and uh they get everybody going so we're gonna probably start the show with original music and um so my daughter's gonna be playing me with me and then um uh bass player steve wolf and jimmy brink on percussion and dave abe on fiddles and violin and mandolin wow so. i didn't even have to ask you to, to tell people when you're playing next usually i have to <laughs> oh yeah okay <laughs> all right um i'm gonna start off with a song from um uh february album writing month 2016 uh this is called um caught between the hammer and the nail which is a saying about um I guess being in a very bad position <laughs> at the time, but um, I don't know. I wrote it. I wrote it most of it while I was running the table at um, at a concert, <laughs> like taking everyone's tickets, and <laughs> you have to, you know, when it's February album writing month, you have to do what you what you can. So <laughs> it's coming up very soon, very soon. Everyone should join us if you're a songwriter. There we go. Okay. <laughs> There was a forest here in 1816 when my ancestors settled this town. Strong cedar grew on the ridge line, and a strong current to carry it down. And my ancestors cut and planed lumber by hand and built cabins in the river basin. Built a mill at the river's edge And my family's on this land ever since And I know it was a hard life to live All it took was one crop to fail An early frost, drought or hail And you're caught between the hammer and nail Carpenter by trade, he fell into it just like his fathers did. And tried to teach me everything what little he knew, but he raised one hell of an ungrateful kid. He and mom stayed up late when I was 16 almost every single day for a year. Just when one day we all have our limits, and there's some advice that I want you to hear. Said son, one day you will find Life don't have to be long to turn stale An early frost, drought or hail And you're caught between the hammer and nail
been almost 10 years since we both passed away Almost sold the house for I got clean And married a girl I bet I don't deserve We've got a son of our own turning three Though I once told her things would improve I'm a carpenter now in my own way I see my lies carved into Sarah's face I take a little of her hope every day And it's been an early winter this year And the snow turns the cedars pale It's a fact in this life that all laws will fail When you're caught between the hammer and nail Yeah, it's a fact in this life that all laws will fail When you're caught between the hammer and nail really nice that was lovely that, that was a lovely picking i mean i i know your i know your guitar playing does get mentioned in reviews of your music and and your shows but i i really feel like you're underrated as a guitar player in the area <laughs> i oh, thank you I mean, it's i mean thank you for <laughs> not thank you for that but thank you for acknowledging that no i love i love I really love playing with other people, <laughs> you know, and, um, you know, I, I, I love to have this opportunity, honestly. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, it's, you know, a lot of songwriters will, will, you know, they'll play really good guitar parts on their own parts, but, but they don't really get an opportunity necessarily to play with other people because songwriters can be like kind of, kind of a little, ins we, we're sometimes a little insular about the people we play with, right? Like, <laughs> Like I've got a I've got a band and and when we if we play if we play the band's songs it's like a specific group of people and and if I like even though I play with a lot of other people like I often don't pull out songs by that band so um, yeah I don't know if I really had a point with that <laughs> <laughs> but you know sometimes yeah so I mean and and it's also it's also fantastic to hear what you come up with on the on the spot <laughs> you know like like you heard one it verse was, of the song earlier <laughs> it was it was luck it was luck oh my gosh no that's so much fun um so my turn yes okay well um i play this song this time of year a lot and yesterday was definitely one of those days uh the winter wind um i uh this is just kind of a whimsical song about the winter wind, so. <laughs> and cold toes and all that good stuff, so here we go. Winter's cold rushes in the cold front knows the snow is coming The four sides longing for summer Alone the short days slowly drift on by Forty below, well Frosty would know See your breath and your fingers frozen but your warm touch would be enough To begin to warm me from this winter wind The brisk breeze wiggles through The poor window pane is turning blue The birds try to sing to conjure up spring Cause they know the chill that winter brings The shutters won't keep out the the timbers are all shivering I'm a hoping you'll come 
comes through my door When you're here, it's the warmest I've ever been Well now I had mittens in place The logs are cut, the fire's made A cold nose and cold toes waiting for you takes two to warm the winter wind Yeah, it takes two to warm the winter wind Yeah, it takes two to warm the winter wind Cool song. <laughs> when did you write that one? Thanks. Um, actually, that song I wrote... Um, Kathy Fink, this was, oh gosh, it's over five years ago now. She offered a songwriting class on, like, just not in person, like she would send us, send assignments and things. <laughs> and it was, it was really good. I mean, it was very challenging. <laughs> and so that song was probably one of the easier ones for me to write because it was kind of like, uh, I had the idea of it and, um, and I don't know what the what the assignment was, but I was able to pull that together. But it wasn't um, like she gave you the title. Wait. Oh no, no, oh, okay. no! It was uh, like she'd have you listen to different songs. She'd have you listen to different types of music. It was really good, you know, really great class. We had to write a jingle, <laughs> <laughs> uh, which was kind of fun. Um, although I don't think she liked my jingle, but. Um, <laughs> Um, but in any case, uh, do you remember no. what the jingle was selling? It was it was for Mom's Organic Market. Oh, okay. So for real for real places, it wasn't like you had to make up a product. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe she wanted us to, but um, I just uh, picked a place I like. <laughs> so anyway. Yeah. So. Um, anyway. The. Uh, yeah. I. I guess I don't really want to ask about process necessarily, but um, you you write a lot of different types of music. I, I, I feel like, you know, like, I, I guess that comes with the territory of being a songwriter, really, but, but I, I don't often hear someone play songs that I would consider Americana and jazz in the same show. So is is there, like... I guess, uh, do you have like a favorite area that you like to stay in as far as songwriting or is it just mm -hmm. you write the lyrics or the music and, and just see what happens? Yeah. Um, well, I, I love, I love like those old jazzy standards. I mean, I love, I love singing that kind of stuff and, and bluesy stuff. Um, but you know, and, and some lyrics, you know, f f you know, that fits well you know with that that style but um what was your question <laughs> i guess i i guess I, is there just like yeah i mean is there favorite. like well is there like a go-to is there like a go-to musical area for oh, you or is it um or is it just whatever whatever comes out at yeah, the time you know it's funny um I, I i think it just whatever comes out you know like i i tend to write lyrics first generally <laughs> because i don't always have my guitar in my hand so mm -hmm. like if there's an idea or something i'll write it down but really it all comes together once i have an instrument something guitar something in my hand and um and then i just kind of see what the lyrics are saying like some some things lend itself to that jazzy bluesy sound or you know some are just like a little folky contemporary folk or you know Something like that, you know. So I, I don't know. It just really varies. But I like, I, I like to write. I'm, I'm happy that I write in different things. I think I would get <laughs> tired of the same thing, you know. I mean, I enjoy playing in different styles and stuff yeah. like that. So. Let me do something real quick. Are we fading into the darkness. <laughs> the light changes in the winter. <laughs> Yeah, I did a candlelight service and I just about went off the screen. <laughs> <laughs> because, because.
my candle wasn't bright enough, which was very sad. <laughs> um, okay, so my second song, um, I mentioned that Lynn does a lot of stuff with the Songwriters Association of Washington. Um, a mutual friend of ours played cello on this song, and this is the opening track for uh, um, my band's latest album called The Habit of Fear. This song is called Altai, and the parentheses is first line, which is Falls the Last Night of Snow. And the song is... It's, it's about things that, that are supposed to stay buried, staying buried, but in, in the song, a person is burying a loved one in the permafrost in Central Asia. And the graves that were in that area have started to become exposed because the permafrost is melting. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that the people who, who buried their loved ones there did did not anticipate them uh, becoming archaeological artifacts, just kind of very close to the surface that much later. Yeah, Kristen, Kristen imitated a horse head fiddle for that, which was, which was amazing. Oh, that was, that's got to be just beautiful. Wow. Um, it got played on the radio a couple weeks ago, too, which is, it's very much not a radio song. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it, like, it starts off with a full minute of, of this, like, horse head fiddle imitation, Im improvisation with meditation bowls, and, and, then, and then it's this very quiet song. So I was... I was very happy to see that it got some radio play, oh. but especially because, you know, I think let's, let's face it, Ellie Amy, no matter how good they are, like doesn't get enough play on the radio. <laughs> so like Kristen getting some airtime is, <laughs> yeah, makes yeah. me happy. Yeah. Well, that was beautiful. Whoa. Okay. Now that's hard to follow. Aw, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Um, okay, I wasn't thinking I was going to do this. Uh, let's see. Let's see. So this, um, 
but it, I don't know. That's why I love doing that. I really do love doing this, what we're doing. <laughs> you know, this trade of round. song. Yeah. yeah, it's just so, so much fun. Um, so I'm going to do this song. Um, it's called The North Star. And uh, I wrote it. Um, my, uh, my niece went through a really hard time. Um, single mom and, and the and the father of her little girl um they just decided it was better that they they didn't marry but they were mm -hmm. still close and and then he was he was tragically uh he had a tragic uh, car accident mm -hmm. and was um so Kristen was left with her little girl to raise and uh i uh i don't know i just wrote this song because she found her way, long story short, she's living in Hawaii, she's married, she has a beautiful family, and, you know, things are... All's well. <laughs> yes. All's well. Then. Yes. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so this was more early on. This is um, called North Star. It's the wood floor Your picture frame is empty You won't be coming around here no more A fast car and a straight road We're deadly in the end I'm sitting here with a little one We're learning to walk again Dead reckon on the North Star Big Dipper always leaves Give her of direction, dishing out just what we need. One more revolution, is one more new day. The shooting star above us says you're gonna find your way. That lapis necklace, so precious when it's new, so heavy hanging. like yours but her eyes crack blue stars move in one direction like the circle we once knew dead reckon on the north star big dipper of his leaves a giving of direction pushing out to this one way I, I I really like astronomy. I, I used to 
I used to like do stargazing as a kid and um I had a little I had a little telescope but not like anything <laughs> you could actually do anything meaningful with. Like I don't know, I don't know that I could even have seen stuff on the moon with it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but um I I I love the I love the lyrics in the chorus <laughs> with, with, with the little astronomy facts. Like you can, this show is also educational, folks. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Thanks. So, reaching for that. <laughs> stretch. Uh, I'm gonna do a song that I haven't done I haven't done in quite a while. Uh, this is called Alonso Font or 1851. Uh, February album writing month 2015, and uh, there were some there were some things that I I feel like were making the world a little um, I don't know politically depressing around that time, and and yeah things totally got better right. <laughs> The, the heady days of 2015 when when I feel like the only thing I really had to worry about was was I don't know everything uh, <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to get into it I don't actually talk about politics so. <laughs> okay <laughs> but, good <laughs> but um this is a this is an old revolutionary in the during the uh, second French re well one of the one of the French revolutions of the 1800s um, in 1848 there were a lot of workers revolts and um, I I realized that someone could have been you know a teenager during the terror and um, a after the French Revolution in in the 1700s when they were beheading their kings and queens um, but the uh, the workers' revolts kicked out the last king of France, who by all accounts actually wasn't wasn't that bad. But um, they they had a they had a, a commune for a little while, and then um, and then uh, elected a guy named Napoleon president, which always goes so well. <laughs> <laughs> and he declared himself emperor, which is you know big shocker. <laughs> Um, that was Napoleon the Third. He was at least the last emperor of France, so you know eventually. And um, but I realized that someone could have been a teenager during the during the terror. And, and this is a this is an older fellow tell, telling some revolutionaries that he doesn't have the stomach for it <laughs> for another round. Um. <laughs> grown civil last revolt the streets were running red and I suppose it could be worse than barricades and riots and this time he let the king keep his head I'd have fought the good fight in that hopeful July in my youth when they marched on the Bastille and every generation invents its future in the past but the old learn the time becomes a wheel Alarms on fun Alas, the old still children I think I've had enough of these wars There are many ways to end a revolution, my friends You can live if you lay down your sword freedom please don't think that I don't soon enough someone wants to leave and now soon how the keystone and the frame falls apart and freedom's no good to the deceased remember your brothers the Italians and the Piedmont you deny that they're love brothers but they are how many fought for money how many for a vote Fail despite correcting your flaws. Alonzo on 
having fun Alas, that you're still children I think I've had enough of these wars There are many ways to end a revolution, my friends You can live if you lay down your sword Trade a king for a commune, then bourgeoisie for what? It's Emperor Napoleon again. Could you possibly think that we're any better off? Even you must see that nothing here has changed. What you see now is victory, the mighty can abide. Their patience is your hangman's rope. Sorry if you wanted encouragement and cheers But it's decades since I'd any cause to hope Alarms on fun Alas, they are still children I think I've had enough of these wars There are many ways to end a revolution, my friends You can live if you lay down your sword It hasn't been on a band set list for a while. It was it was one of the ones that it was one of the ones that the band picked out for the set list, which is, you know, I am I am terrible at picking my own material <laughs> for um a regular every time I release a record, whatever song is whatever song ends up being people's favorites. <laughs> It's like never even one that I consider. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I must have liked them because I put them on a record, but you know. Right. Yeah. Uh, do you need yeah. me to hold this for a second? Yeah, I was gonna maybe switch, switch, make a switch. Okay. So, do you wanna just? I can put it back over. Oh, okay. That works too. Um, let's see. So, um, see, I don't need a capo. What am I doing? <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that, well, this song, this is one of my newer songs. And, um, I wrote this in the spring, and the, a friend of mine, she, she's a writer, and we've co written some songs together, um, Carol Burp. Burbank and um but she uh she went down the rabbit hole of uh, uh researching Jezebel because she got mad when <laughs> during the last campaign that uh, some southern politician called Kamala Harris a Jezebel and um so anyway she kind of looked into the bible and did a bunch of research and um and uh, in the community I live in, in Akakik in Southern Maryland, um, we have an artist's alliance. And I'm one of the token few uh, musician <laughs> songwriters. There's a few writers, and then there are many fine artists, mm -hmm. potters and painters and everything. But every now and then, a collaborative kind of project pops out of that. And the, that's what this was. And uh, it was just exploring the fierce feminine and... So I wrote this song, just Jezebel was a powerful queen and people feared her and, um, you know, her name goes to label people and uh, women uh, in a derogatory kind of term. And I just hate labels. It's a button pusher for mm -hmm. me. So um, 
Yeah, it it really annoys me when people use it. it really, really annoys me when people use an actual name of a person as right. a label for a, for a personality type. It's it, you know like people, yeah. I Jezebel's been around long enough that no one's gonna name their child Jezebel. <laughs> but but I mean at some point at some point that was a name for a person and it was no longer a name for a person after it became a symbol. And, right. And it's right. it's like. I don't know. You you take away a little part of the world by by going so hard on the metaphor, <laughs> right? right? And, and it, it seems like it's it's you know it's based out of fear. I mean, you know, just kind of you know reading about it and everything. I mean, this yeah. you know various interpretations of these things. And I mean, Jezebel was a woman. She was a powerful woman. People feared her. There wasn't you know she was very unique you know in that time so um so it was interesting that i wrote this as soon after the whole roe versus wade was you know upended and um you know it just seemed like a, a, the right time so i think of it kind of uh, as a song about you know women's rights and and just uh feminine energy can be a good thing <laughs> So anyway, um, it's called Jezebel. This might be nice with brushes. It's kind of oh. like a Latin feel. <laughs> okay. Well, um, if if that's well, I didn't oh, I didn't okay. turn on the I didn't oh, okay. turn on the microphones over the drum kit. I oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, no, I could I could get a room sound from from just my microphone. But, okay. No, um, no. No. No worries. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought. I'm. I'm. I, I'm also not sure that there's there's headphones are plugged in. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. No. No worries. We could we could take a minute. We could take a minute though, if you want. Like oh, I could totally I fun. could set it up and we can just fast forward through this part later. Okay. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. I've even got the hipster ride symbol on here. We can. <laughs> All right. So, uh, alrighty. So this has a kind of slow in introduction, and then uh, you'll you'll see where it, you come in. <laughs> Are you ready? I am. Oh, okay. As ready as I'm gonna be. Okay. Listen to your 
I didn't know what you were playing. Oh, uh, I am gonna do. Uh, yeah. So, um, my next song is gonna be a cover by by a mutual friend of ours, Heather Aubrey Lloyd. And uh, I'm gonna make sure I don't mess up Heather's lyrics. <laughs> This is a song called Silent Little Bells, and Heather is a um, an admirer, I guess, of <laughs> murder ballads, <laughs> as am I. And um, she wanted a murder ballad where the where the the guy gets killed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Cause, I've cause usually, heard her do this. <laughs> usually the usually the woman gets it. So right. <laughs> she was like, "That's not fair." Um, so fair is fair. And uh, um, just a lovely song. I'm I'm not the only person in the area that covers it either, which is which is nice. I I went to an open mic one time and saw someone else do it. Um, Into a hole in the cold cold ground on a gray gray day. Down into a down soft place for us to lay I buried us in a secret place where none will go Bluebells in the field, 
the only wreath we'll ever know. No churchyard will ever hold our sad, sad sin. No coin of copper, silver, or gold will buy our way in. No stone to mark the bitter place where we lie. No stone but my heart, no one's tears but mine. Can you Silent little bells. The world it judged me hard for what it did not see. The woman is a whore while the man he goes free. So tell me now, for all my shame, could it be a sin? For the woman done wrong to do the man that done it to him in. I loved a man in the worst of ways And he loved me once Loved me but he left Left me with his son The sun it did not rise When it was his time I beg my love, bury our son, but he said it was none of mine. Can you hear judgment in the trees? How they say, I'll never rest in peace. And will they say, lies I can never untell? See the only hymn song for him from Silent Little Bell. Heather's so, a good writer. <laughs> she is. She is. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I remember the first time she heard me do it, she, or the first time she heard our recording of it, she was, like, she was like, oh, you made it much more traditional. And I'm like, I really thought I was making it much more modern. <laughs> it's, it's funny how, it's, I guess it's just funny how, um, 
how people hear modern versus versus whatever. But. Mm. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, gosh. How do I uh, follow that? With another song. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'll just do this simple love song, just about not, you know, romantic love, just, you know, finding love in our lives that we are. There is <laughs> love out there for all of us. Do you have a um do you have a favorite like go to for subject matter or or like a place that you like to steal from as people might guess based on the number of books in my room i i <laughs> i i tend to steal a lot from books but <laughs> um i i feel like sometimes I, I saw someone on friday who says that that she tends to she tends to um get ideas from watching from binging netflix which justifies her having netflix <laughs> oh, yeah. But, um, yeah, you know, I don't know. I'm, I, I'm more emo like emotions or something. I see. I, you yeah. know, I do. I just, you know, kind of something maybe I experienced or 
you know, those kind of songs, you know, <laughs> like that last song. You know, I'm not like, I don't consider myself like a, a storyteller. I'm more, mm -hmm. you know, kind of expressing some some idea about something, some emotion, some interaction. Are you super deliberate about it, or are you, or are you a um, when you feel like it kind of writer? Oh, yeah. Because I mean, you said well, you said you did a songwriting class where someone gave you assignments. So, so like. Yeah, that was helpful. Like I go through uh, phases, you know. Like I used to get. I, I'm I'm a morning person, so I get up early, and so I used to, and I still do at times. Like just go and write something, you mm -hmm. know, and you know come back to it just just to get into you know just writing some things down you know um but uh yeah no it kind of comes in in phases and then you know i have um the envelope notebook you know in my car oh you know like trying something comes to mind you yeah, know I that kind of thing but um yeah i no, i don't i'm not real regimented in that <laughs> which i you know that wouldn't make it as much fun, <laughs> <laughs> you know, because sometimes it strikes you, you know, like you're getting ready to fall asleep. And it's like, wait a minute, <laughs> you know, I think I need to get up and write that down, <laughs> you know, so, yeah, you know, yeah. stuff like that happens. I, I've sent myself emails when, yeah. I, when I, if I don't have something to write down on or. Yeah, you know. I've done that. Phone is helpful for that. I used to. I used to have to remember it until the end of the drive. Like, <laughs> yeah, right, right. Before I got a phone. Yeah, <laughs> I know the phones. It's, it's really changed things a lot. <laughs> and there's a notes. There's a notes application on there. But, yeah, you know, I have used that. Somehow, somehow, I still end up sending myself an email, and and the and, you know I'm 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 like pulled over on the side of the road, like like typing it with my thumbs. So I look at the email later, and one of them, I'm like. What the heck was this word supposed to be? <laughs> it's a bunch of yeah. like, like I got one that had like forty letters in a row, all in, all in one thing, and I'm like, I'm like, there aren't any spaces in this, and and none of the syllables make any sense. What was I? It's it's like when you write something down in the middle of the night, and you can't read it in the morning because. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's that, or like I'll use the voice thing. But... Oh yeah. They don't. It doesn't understand <laughs> me, <laughs> and I'm like. That's not what I was saying. Like, what is that? You know, like, and sometimes it's hard to really decipher what I was thinking about. I'm like, oh my goodness. Anyway, my New York accent, I guess, <laughs> is not recognized. Well. Uh, one of my favorite places to get things is wiki surfing, <laughs> Wikipedia surfing. Hi. So, um,. So I believe this I believe this might have come out of that, but this is a song about the winter war in Finland. Um, and since since Russia is currently um, you know doing the war thing again, you know, this is one of the this is one of the times in World War II when they got their butts kicked. Um, but uh, Finland uh, at the time was. You know, they had people going around on skis, and Russian Russians have an awful lot of snow, but not probably not quite as much as the Finns. Um, it's complicated, though. I mean, Finland was not on the side of the Allies uh, during the war, so it's it's complicated to cheer them on. But of but of course, Russia was invading them, and not. Not necessarily for the purpose of, you know, doing anything noble. <laughs> so, um, I believe this is around the time period that the Molotov cocktail was invented. Um, and, uh, anyway, uh, this song is called Firebird, and it's actually based on, um, despite taking place during the Winter War, it's actually based on Slavic folk tales, where the Firebird was a harbinger of things. <laughs> uh, I can't... Can't really be too much more specific than that, but um, but one of the one of the more famous stories, someone is given you know an impossible task in this case to steal some golden apples, and I believe in this story they're at, they're literally gold apples growing on a tree. They're not they're not oranges, but um, the way the way we got to this title was was through the word orange. Um, the 
the country of Portugal, named after oranges. Um, Portugal is is the is similar to the Arabic word for oranges. And a friend and I had written a song about Portugal, <laughs> and I just had this note sitting around for years, <laughs> for a couple years before I wrote this song that just said oranges. <laughs> and and some and and from that it, that that like association went to firebird and then and then the firebird ended up being the song so very wow. very weird very weird uh direction to go but <laughs> but ultimately started yeah. from that's that's really neat from an unusual place but uh this is this is someone who is they're they're just living in the in the woods with their family and they have to go out they have to go hunting to get some food and they encounter some soldiers put on your wool cap and your best leather boots it's already snowing and the crows are taking flight if you run into trouble, loaded an extra bandolier, stay on the road and be home before night. Be home before night. Keep your back to the dark and the sun on your A songbird's feather and kept it for love. Saw a deer at the crossroads, but was too slow to load. And it bolted for the creek, and it fell through the ice. And this track snowed over, and so did the road. Some hours on, hear the sound of machines, and the diesel smoke column blew over the spruce. Heard a fleeing hawk owl as the soldiers approached, and lay in the heather to stay in. home before night keep your back to the dark and the sun on your right be home before night close his eyes for a time and he breathed on his hands Snow covered his cap and he couldn't feel his feet. He pulled the frost from his face, pulled his coat tight for heat. But the footsteps like heartbeats lulled him to sleep. And in his dream he saw the sunlight streak through the leaves. Firebirds singing like a summer eventide Followed till he came to a dead apple tree And there lay the deer with a wound in her side
saw the last soldier pass And he picked up his rifle and made a straight path to home Took his mother by the hand Said there's no time to lose And they watched from a distance as a shell hit their home Be home before night Keep your back to the dark And the sun on your right be home before night Be home before night Be home before night You are a good storyteller Oh, thanks <laughs> <laughs> That's my last song And this shall be your last song Make it a good one. Did you oh. want me to play mandolin? On, sure. On the bluesy one. Oh yeah. Unless you have, unless you have something you'd yeah, rather no, play I instead. Yeah, I almost I wanna, forgot about that. <laughs> I don't want to lock you into something. No, yeah. I mean that's that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so this song, I was reading, the parents, Dao De Ching, <laughs> and I, this whole beautiful book. Um, and I just, you know, thought about, you know, yeah, you know, we're always, you know, we have good and bad days and whatever things happen in our lives, but, um, you know, you got to go through those things, <laughs> you know, um, I think it really makes, makes us who we are, you know, and how we come out of it and we learn what we take from it. So anyway. All 10,000 of them. <laughs> That's Only a joke for those of you who are familiar with Dao Te Ching. <laughs> <laughs> and only 10,000? Okay. Um, yeah, so anyway, so this is, um, you know, and then, you know, so I write from what I know. My yard, you know, after the winter, it turns into a muddy mess. <laughs> ah, yes. So, um you know, literally, uh, I go slipping and sliding through my yard. So anyway, so there's a little, little bit of truth in here <laughs> it's from experience it's called The Muddy Way. Muddy feet, guess who's street? Just clay and dirt and water, don't body for feet. Sink inside. i 
this rain That's how you walk the muddy way <laughs> oh, that was lovely. That was so much fun. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for coming for coming all the way up from DC to play music for for me and I mean, I'm the only one in the room. So <laughs> so I'm the only I'm the only person that you were guaranteed to be playing music Aww. to today. Thank but, you for um, inviting me. I am I this has been so much fun. <laughs> um like I said, it's one of my I really do love doing this. Thank you. And I, I know you mentioned a few places that you were playing that you were playing soon. And um, first, first Tuesday of the month, right? Uh, is, yeah, first Tuesday your... of the month. Um, yeah, I for the Songwriters Association of Washington, I host an open mic at the New Deal Cafe in Greenbelt. So that's a, a regular kind of once a month thing. So if you're a songwriter. Our poet, you know, we welcome, you know, uh, it's, um, and then we have a featured artist that plays about a half hour, which is really nice. John was there uh, sometime within the last year or so <laughs> with everything up closing and opening and, but, um, you know, it's, it's a sweet little cafe. It's, it's an, it's a great place to try out <laughs> new tunes and everything. And, um, and yeah, so I've been doing that. And then um, in my community, um, I help uh, pull together some concerts. So um, the Homegrown Coffee House has been going since 1999. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we did a few virtual and then kind of whatever. Last year kind of fizzled out, but now we're returning. Um, so it's going to be on January 27th. And uh, it's, it's, it's a real big volunteer effort. And um, we make homemade soup and bread and desserts. And it's really wonderful. And the community comes out and people will, you know, drive down there. It's at the National Colonial Farm, actually. And we rent their um, adult education building and they're our community partner and uh we have a great time it's a it's a beautiful little very short series i usually do just like four shows like organize them i don't sometimes i could play at them but it's not <laughs> like a yeah, yeah um do, i'm out there you know playing at everyone you know so try to bring some good music down to southern maryland you know and, i mean thank you for thank you for what you do for the community like like <laughs> I mean, it it seems like it should be something that goes without saying, but it doesn't get said often enough that the people who actually put in work for for the community are are very precious. Oh. <laughs> so it's um so I, I I really appreciate like the the number of new faces that you put in front of all of us <laughs> on a regular basis. So, yeah. so thank you for that. Yeah, well. Thank you for mentioning that. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, no, it's my pleasure. I mean, I, uh, it's, uh, I've met so many, like, wonderful songwriters doing that. You know, like, it's hard to get out and see everybody playing. We're spoiled in the area. We are spoiled. Yeah, and I mean, somebody <laughs> will sign up and do two songs, and I'm totally blown away. And, I, you know, I just appreciate them coming out, and I've gotten to know new people and hear their music. So I'm, I'm grateful. So, so um you know, it it does. You know, I I get a lot of, you know, <laughs> I get a lot from it too. So, but anyway, so thank you so much for having me. This thank you. It's been a blast. Thank you, everyone, for watching. <laughs> um, two weeks from now, when this airs, uh, three weeks from when we're recording this, um, I'm I'm very lucky to have to have people come over early. <laughs> it gives me a little more time. <laughs> But um, two weeks from when this airs, uh, my friend Isabella Louise will be here. Uh, she sings in multiple languages, um, and, and we've got some we've got some pretty cool stuff. Um, some pretty cool stuff. A little bit of Afro Afro Cuban, and um, uh, there's a French there's a French jazz song that oh, I better get on learning that. <laughs> um, and uh, a little later in February, I'll have my friend Mike Friedman, who was here in season one, 
and he's bringing his drummer and they're performing as Ask Again Later. I have asked them repeatedly um, uh, what the band name is and they just keep saying to ask them again later. So I... I uh, and uh, lots, lots more music uh, this season. I might even, I might even have to add a date because I have a friend who, I have a friend who couldn't get back to me in time after I was, after I was booking these. But um, I, I really want to get her, get her and her um, musical partner in here. So um, uh, I don't really have anything else I, I want to, I want to put out there. So um, thank you again for watching, and everyone have a good day.